Good morning. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Okna Abhi Sharma. I'm here to present my CT findings in COVID positive patients. AIMS is uh, to uh, typical and uh, to estimate the typical and atypical chest CT findings in COVID-19 RT-PCR positive patient for better assessment. Introduction, uh, novel human coronavirus disease was first reported in Wuhan, China in December 2019 and by it, it, it spread uh, throughout the world and was declared pandemic by the World Health Organization on March 12, 2020. It is an infectious disease just caused by the severe acute respiratory coronavirus 2 and it affects both upper and the lower respiratory tract infection and uh, clinically present and manifest as pneumonia with predominant imaging finding of atypical or organized pneumonia. <clears throat> The choice of imaging technique in COVID-19 is still the matter of the debate. Uh, chest X-ray uh, are the screening modality not only give uh, fast result, but bedside chest X-ray also reduce the COVID-19 exposure to the other patient. But chest X-ray also has its limitation as normal chest X-ray does not rule out any uh, uh, COVID pneumonia. Uh, so uh, better is a CT. CT with the core rate score, uh, it, it will better delineate the COVID positive patient as compared to the chest x-ray. Chest x-ray is only a screening modality in initial uh, number of days. And best modality is the RT-PCR, but RT-PCR is not used uh, 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 worldwide because of its uh, lack of availability and long hour of diagnosis. Material and method, this is a prospective study which is done in Zafar Nagar Medical College and Hospital. A total of 100 patients were included and all the patients underwent non-contrast uh, chest CT in radiology department using Siemens 16 channel score. A volumetric chest CT was assigned at a lung window 1500 window width and 500 window length and mediastinal window using 2D coronal and sagittal plane for better assessment of the extent of the disease. Uh, all the imaging findings were uh, analyzed independently by the two radiologists with experience of 10 and 6 years respectively. There are different findings like grand glass opacity, reticulation, crazy paving pattern, which we will talk later on. And this is a CT severity score, which is uh, calculated based on the extent of the lobar involvement. And each of the five lobes were visually scored on the scale of 0 to 5. 0, no, uh, no involvement, 1, 5%, 2, 5 to 25%, 3, 26 to 49%, 4, 50 to 75%, and 5, uh, more than 75% involvement is there. Total score is range from 0 to 25. 0, there is no involvement, and 25, maximum involvement is there. These are my results. And this table will show the age and sex wide distribution of the patient, which we will include in our study. And most of the patient is uh, ranging from 22 to 86 years, and mean age is about 50 years. And these are the uh, features. Out of 100 patients, 96 patients show abnormality. And these are the abnormality which are given, like ground glass opacity, which is the most common abnormality which is seen, followed by consolidation, reticulation, crazy paving pattern, and so on. And uh, the mean total lung severity score for 100 patients was 14. And the mean lung severity score for all the lobes that include are given in this table, which is provided. These are my results, which are described in all the three tables, first, second, and third. Now, uh, GGO was seen in 93% of the patient. Most of the GGOs, they are periphery. Less commonly, they are central. And sometimes, they are neither predominance, nor central and nor uh, peripheral. 91% uh, patients show bilateral involvement, 2% show only unilateral involvement in these cases. Like in this uh, uh, chest uh, CT axial cut, we will see the peripheral predominant, pre peripheral predominant GGOs. We can see in both. And in this uh, CT axial cut, we will see there is neither peripheral or central uh, GGOs are there. And on second figure, we can also see the bronchiectatic changes along with it. And in this uh, uh, axial cut unenhanced CT, we can see multifocal patches of ground glass opacity as shown by the arrow and subpleural curvilinear lines which are shown by the arrowheads. And uh, this is a uh, coronal or axial unenhanced CT image which will show the diffuse ground glass opacity of both the lungs with CT severity score of 24 to out of 25. <laughs> Consolidation are the second most common finding which we will find which is bilateral and most commonly lower low predominance. Like in this uh, unhandled uh, CT image, show a wide area of ground glass appearance shown by the arrowhead and consolidation, which is shown by the red arrow, involving bilateral, mainly lower lobes and peripheral predominance. And with the blue arrow, we can uh, see the vascular enlargement also. And uh, now discussion. Uh, RT-PCR uh, is the gold standard test for diagnosis COVID-19. However, due to its limited availability and delay in reporting in patient uh, load scenario, the usefulness of the other modality was sorted. <clears throat> in the study, we evaluated chest CT finding the COVID-19 RT-PCR positive patient. The chest CT was normal in four out of 100 patients. At AI et al. also reported 
uh, 21 out of 600 patient uh, 600 patient artificial with clinical symptom have normal ct scan the most common finding is the ggu as described previously and according to the study bao et al conduct uh, uh, out of uh, ggu is the most common finding in present in 83% of the covid 19 cases and another meta analysis by zio et al involving 4121 patient showing that ggu was the most common finding in present in 68% of the covid 19 patient mostly due to bilateral peripheral and patch involvement of the lung like in this axial ct which will show bilateral lung gas opacity with peripheral predominance second uh, finding is reticulation which is seen in 71% patient in our patient it is uh, probably by the lympho- uh, lymphocytic infiltration of the interstitial tissue with interlobular and septal thickening crazy paving pattern it is seen in 59 patient in our study and it is uh, ggo with thickened interlobar or interlobar septa which is superimposed over the ggo uh, like in this uh, axial and anan ct which will show a reticulation bilateral with crazy paving pattern and also in this uh, axial and anan ct show ground glass opacity with superimposed septal thickening giving the crazy paving pattern as shown by the arrows other finding is consolidation mostly consolidation are bilateral with lower low predominance and the finding are similar with the previous study uh which will show bilateral pattern of the ground glass and consolidation also the other finding is the sub uh, pleural curvilinear lines uh, which appear as linear shadow 1 to 3 mm in thickness parallel to and lying within 1 cm of the pleural surface like in this axial and anan ct show area of consolidation shown by the red arrow involving the bilateral mainly lower lobe and posterior and peripheral predominance and in this anan ct show a sub pleural curvilinear lines and the area of the ground glass opacity as shown by the arrow head other findings like bronchiectasis subpleural a transparent line and vascular enlargement can also be seen in our patient like in this uh, an enhanced axial ct we can see the bronchiectatic changes in first image and in second image we can see thin subpleural transparent line between the areas of the ggg uh, ggos and the uh, visceral pleural uh, consistent with the subpleural transparent lines as shown by the arrows and in this we can see the vascular enlargement which is shown by the arrow head this uh, this uh, finding in an an uh, in axial and anan ct show a ground glass opacity which is surrounded by the consolidation both upper and lower lobe uh, and finding which is consistent uh, with the reverse halo sign conclusion uh, chest ct scan is sensitive tool for diagnosing covid 19 it also helping better assessment of the severity of the covid patient and uh, ggo's reticulation these are all the finding which we can early find on the ct as compared to that of the chest x So, chest CT scan may act as a quick diagnostic tool with a high sensitivity, taking into consideration that all, most all COVID-19 patients demonstrate the typical features. Thank you. These all are my uh, references.